one of your loved ones, one of your children, your grandchildren, being killed by the police, and you have no justice. They lie and deny while we're all expected to comply. I'm here to show solidarity with our Aboriginal community and to mark the passing of TJ Hickey on the 11th anniversary of his death. They were very dark days when you died, when you were killed and murdered by the cops. This is the anniversary of the killing of TJ Hickey, he was a young Aboriginal boy who was killed during a police pursuit. Having a young boy impaled on a fence is fairly horrifying in any situation. But then for the police to cover it up and deny any responsibility, as a citizen, I have to take notice of that. Those days of darkness have not gone away. The passage of time has not eased the pain. It's really quite shocking that after years and years of campaigning, after a Royal Commission into Aboriginal deaths in custody, they're still taking place. In fact, deaths in custody are on the rise. Too many coppers! And not enough justice! We are still waiting for results out of a Royal Commission. There's a potential of a police riot ahead of us. They refuse to let our march carry on to its uh, designated arrival place. Redfern police attempted to prevent the march from going into the city from Redfern. They're trying to stop my son's march and I'm not going to stop marching. Police had taken the march organisers to court, objecting to signs they were planning to carry implicating them in the murder and cover-up of TJ's death. Perhaps this is connected to a huge hysteria around law and order which is connected to the latest clampdown on the so-called anti-terrorism clampdown. We have a right for public protest and we have a right for public marches. In their legal argument, the police referred to the violence that erupted in the US town of Ferguson after a young African-American male was shot by police. It was this violence police argued could take place if the march was allowed to go into the city. When you say that it's the same as Ferguson, I mean, when people get killed, obviously you're going to get a reaction. When people get killed by the police, you're going to get a further reaction because it comes down to what we want out of a society. And what we want out of a society is not police that kills innocent citizens. <laughs> Fifty-seven percent increase in the last ten years in the level of imprisonment of Aboriginal people. It's just as a matter of time before this translates into more deaths in custody. That's why right now it's important to stand in solidarity and do what we can to support the legitimate rights of Aboriginal people. One day we'll see a police officer, or perhaps even a former police officer, have the courage, honesty and integrity it takes to come forward to disclose the truth about what happened to TJ. For 11 years you lived with that fact that the cops killed TJ. Always, 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 Always,